Israel opened the Karem Shalom crossing for the inspection of aid trucks to Gaza, making it possible to more than double the flow of aid to civilians in the Gaza Strip. Yesterday, we inspected 195 trucks with 2,740 tons of aid on board, and we can now facilitate twice as much going into Gaza. We repeat, Israel has placed zero restrictions, zero, on the entry of humanitarian necessities to Gaza, and we have approved all requests, every single one, to facilitate the provision of food, water, and medical supplies, and we have the capacity to more than double that aid if the UN is able to deliver it. The problem is threefold. One, a backlog at Rafah. We saw this morning aid trucks waiting for more than an hour and a half outside Rafah, waiting for the Palestinian side to open the gate. Two, the fact that aid agencies are not managing to distribute aid at the pace that Israel is inspecting it. And three, the fact that Hamas is stealing aid while the agencies that feign concern for civilians in Gaza are complicit with Hamas's abuse of civilians through their silence. Now, we've seen the obscene claims by UNRWA and other Palestinian and international actors trying to blame Israel for the humanitarian situation in Gaza to cover up for their own incompetence and the fact that they are covering up for Hamas. This is regrettable and we expect people to see through this in light of all the publicly available facts.